Hi there. I'm Jason, formerly of Animal Planet Scaled and the owner of Calgary and Edmonton Reptile Parties in Alberta, Canada. For over a decade, I've been teaching people about reptiles, amphibians, and other creepy crawlies. So join me today to go on a reptile adventure and learn about these fascinating creatures. Convergent evolution is when two or more species have evolved to have similar traits. Some great examples of this include whales, dolphins, and bats, which have all have echolocation or sonar, sharks and dolphins, which have a similar body type that helps them swim, and birds, bats, flying insects, and pteranodons, which have all developed the ability to fly. So let's learn about some of the cool evolutionary traits in reptiles. This Amazon milk frog and crested gecko have found themselves in a bit of a sticky situation with their feet. Both have adapted specialized toes to help them stick to trees. The crested gecko's toes actually have tiny little hairs that cling like Velcro. Whereas the frog, tree frog's toes spread out like a suction cup and stick that way. Both these animals are able to stick to a number of different surfaces. Leaves, trees, walls, glass, jasons. Scientists are studying that so they can figure out a way to recreate that for people, which means they may have a technology like shoes and gloves that will let you climb the wall like Spider-Man. Which sounds awesome, unless you're a parent telling your child to get off the ceiling. This is a tricolor hognose snake found in South America, and this is a Malagasy hognose snake found in Madagascar. There's also another hognose snake found in North America, which is brown and tan. These are both called hognose snakes because they have a cute little upturned nose, kind of like a pig. So that's how they get their name. But what's remarkable is not only are these animals found in opposite parts of the world, they are not even related. Other than being a snake, they are completely different subspecies and families. But they both have those noses, and they are both rear fanged venomous, which means at the back of the mouth they have two small teeth that are attached to a venom gland that helps them overpower their prey. They have a lot of similarities in those ways. They will also wiggle their tail if they feel threatened, kind of like a rattlesnake, but you can see there's a lot of drastic differences as well. Their color, their size. It's really amazing that two animals from different parts of the world, not even related, both have those cute little piggy faces. You're probably looking at me right now and going, that guy is hanging out with a couple of snakes. But you'd actually be incorrect. While Steve Austin here, the leucistic Texas rat snake, is in fact a snake, this is a European legless lizard. There are legless lizards found around the world, including in North America. And there's several ways you can tell they are a lizard, not a snake. Snakes do not have eyelids. Lizards do. He also has ears, which snakes do not have an external ear opening. While snakes have that legendary ability to stretch out their jaw to swallow their prey, legless lizards' jaws are static, so they actually have to chew their food they can't swallow it whole. They mostly eat soft-bodied insects, but can on occasion eat small vertebrates like smaller lizards. And they have the ability to drop their tail, which a snake does not have. Their tail starts here. So all of this is tail wrapped around my hand with a very short body. Steve's tail starts here, so much shorter. It gives them a lot of advantages being snaky. They can fit into tight spaces, they can stay close to the ground to avoid predators, and even convince a predator that they are a snake as a form of protection. Unfortunately, with humans, that can backfire because people will think it's a snake and want to harm it. Whether it's a snake or a lizard, they don't want to hurt us. We definitely don't want to hurt them. One of my favorite examples of convergent evolution is these two beauties here. The green tree python of Australia and Indonesia and the emerald tree boa of South America. Opposite ends of the world, completely different types of snakes, but incredibly similar. Starting from when they're babies. Boas give live birth, but the pythons lay eggs. However, their babies are different colors. Both of these snakes will have babies that are reds, yellows, and oranges. As they grow, they turn into these deep green colors of their adulthood. They both will sit the exact same way on a branch for hours, days at a time until they're hungry. They are both nocturnal, hunting at night. They both have heat pits to help them sense body temperature. 
and they have curved teeth to help them catch their prey. So despite the fact that they are entirely different, this is a great example of convergent evolution because they are so incredibly similar. People often ask if tegus, like this Argentine tegu, and monitor lizards, like this blue tail monitor, are closely related. They're not. Other than being lizards, they are completely separate families. But there are a lot of similarities. There are eight species of tegus found throughout South America. There are over 70 species of monitor lizards found, without, uh, found throughout Australia, Africa, and Indonesia, the most famous monitor lizard being the Komodo dragon. Both are large lizards. They both have forked tongues, which they use to smell. They're also incredibly intelligent. It's quite fascinating to watch them. They definitely know who I am. They're skilled hunters, and they both use their tails as a form of defense. If they feel threatened, they will hit with their tail, and trust me, that hurts. Convergent evolution also applies to their role in the environment. Both of these are primarily carnivores, although tegus will eat some fruit. They are carrion eaters, so they will eat dead animals and help clean up the, the forest or jungle or savanna where they're found, but they are also excellent hunters, eating a variety of vertebrates, whether it's snakes, lizards, they are excellent at finding and digging up eggs. So, all combined, even though they're not related, monitor lizards and tegus are very similar. We've learned a lot about convergent evolution today, but that just scratches the surface. There's lots more we can learn, and I'm gonna challenge you and your family to do just that. Bring up the Googles and learn some more. There's all sorts of different examples, mammals, reptiles, birds, fish, insects. I'll give you some hints. Look up porcupines and what's similar to them. Find out some of the similar traits in different uh, arboreal mammals, things like prehensile tails. Lots of stuff you can learn together as a family to continue our education about the incredible world of animals.